As always, thank you XM Studios and Toys King Store for letting me review these awesome prototype and production sample pieces. So thank you. What's up guys? Welcome back to Art Statue Collector's channel. Uh, happy Chinese New Year to everyone and I hope you guys are all doing well. This will be my first review of 2022 and we are going to take a close look at XM Studios 1-4 scale Batman White Knight Bat Cycle Edition. This is a production sample piece and the production should start shipping real soon. So I did my first live unboxing a couple of days ago of this guy along with Cable and Ghost Rider on horse which I will be doing a full review of them later on. I just want to give a big shout out and thank you to Mr. TK for helping me assemble them because without him it would have taken me forever to do. Also, thank you those who tuned in to watch me live unboxing and even though it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to be and not as smooth as I wanted to uh, I just hope I can get a hang of it real soon because there are so many new statues coming in this month and the whole rest of the year. With all that said and done, let's get to the review. This statue is based on Batman White Knight comics, which I read but I don't recall this exact scene in the comics. But in Curse of the White Knight's comic, Asriel destroyed Wayne Manor and the Batcave along with the Batmobile. Batman went to his safe house and it's where he stored his Bat Cycle. Okay, let's check out the dimension. Dimension of the base itself is 19 cm in height, 88 cm in length, and 40 cm in depth. Dimension of the whole statue is 64 cm in height, 108 cm in length, and 75 cm in depth. It weighs about 44 kg. The edition size is $899, and the pre order price is about $2,500. It came in two boxes where they weighed 32 kg and 28 kg. The artists involved in this project are Sean Murphy, James W. Kane, and XM Studios design team. Let's look at the details. It looks like a road pavement on top of a sewer of some sort. On the back, you can see the metal structure underneath and rebar sticking out. There is a pillar with gargoyle lamp at the edge, which has a light up feature. On top, Batman is riding on his bat cycle with his cape blowing in the wind. Bat Cycle is quite long with armor frames and all types of gadgets and machine guns. The frames can be removed to show off the interior as well. Batman outfit is very modern, grey and black with hint of blue color.
All right, this is a no-brainer for me. I pre-ordered this day one, and after seeing the production sample piece in hand, I just cannot wait to have mine. Now, even though the price is quite high for this scale, but I think it's worth it for what you are getting. I've said this many times in my reviews, the level of detail in XM scope is just great. Anyone who has their recent statues will know this. Just take a look at it. They really pay attention to every inch of the statue, even if we are never going to see some of the parts. The base is pretty good overall here. The concrete does look nice. There is a very visible skid mark right along here. I like that there are elements of potholes, rebars, metals, and bricks on the base, so it doesn't look too plain. The rebars could have been a lot better. These just look like cheap chocolate bars. I do like the metal structures here, but it's just too bad that it's in the back, so you're not really going to see them. The pillar with gargoyle lamp is nice touch, and I think it gives the nice balance to the statue. Plus, the lamp is magnetic, which makes it easier to put in the batteries. I like the paint job on the frames here. The battle damage and the bullet holes are nice. Also, you can take out this cover here and swap it with a grappling hook to the bike. You can take off the outer frame here to show off the engine components. And these are magnetic, so pretty easy to take out. And you can see the engine component here. There are lots of details inside, as you can see, like the grappling hook that's hooked to it. And, but uh, check out the machine gun here. But the thing is, it looks kind of cheap, like plastic. The paint on each exhaust is very nice. It has a really solid feel to it as well. All right, when you take out the bat cycle frame, then you can replace it with this little knot right here and one in the back. It's gonna be two on each side. The gauge here is kind of cool, but I would rather have a lighter feature here so it would give a nice glowing effect onto Batman. I like the design and the texture of the suit, and I think the Batman emblem looks pretty unique. You can clearly see the outline of his muscle throughout the body. I love the high boot design here as well. I think it really goes well with the bike. And I think they did a great job making it look like real leather here. The color of the utility belt gives a good contrast to the outfit, and I'm glad they included weapons to the belt. His physique does look a bit weird in some angle, or maybe his head a bit too small for the body. The cape plays a big part here. They did an amazing job sculpting the cape. While I think it gives a nice flow to the statue, it takes up a whole lot of space. It is going to be very hard to display him in any home. Maybe they should have came up with a mixed media version of it, but knowing XM, it is unlikely. There are no switch out on Batman, but I would like to see more grin or teeth on this particular portrait. I just think it needs a little more expression. To install the cape, you're gonna need at least two people to actually help you. So one person would actually have to hold the cape up and the other have to use a big head screwdriver to screw it in place. Other than that, I think it's a great statue if you can afford the price or space. All right, that's it for this review. I hope you guys find it helpful and congratulations for those who are getting him as it should start shipping within about a month or so. Also, my gallery should be finished in about two weeks and I'm really looking forward for that. Uh, thanks again for watching and see you guys on the next review. Peace.